Let's check out some old vintage TDK cassettes I was able to uh, find. And um, let's start in uh, random order with this one here. It's a TDK D from um, between 1973 and 1974, if I, um, my memory serves me correct. There's, there is some writing on this side, unfortunately. Let's have a quick look at the tape. And it is a light brown tape, and that would be about its proper colour. Let's check out the J card. I think this is. Uh, An interesting one, especially this. With this uh, radial graph that describes the cassette's parameters. So this is in the 1973-1974 TDKD. Let's have a look at the 1983 TDKD. This one was made in Japan. It says here. This one, it says it's made in Japan and assembled in Korea. And this one's quite posh looking compared to the other one. With its grey shell and silver stickers. It had some writing on there, on top of there with a pencil. I, was meaning, I, met, I have managed to um, rub it out with a eraser and the tape is this bright orange well bright orange that's what it looked like here but that's sort of its proper color this is its proper color there something like that yeah let's have a look at J card and what it says on here and I've got a really interesting uh, TDK cassette as well well more than one in this lot this one's from 1983 from what I can gather and I've got two of these Now yeah, let's have a look at the TDK SA, also from 1983. With its frequency graph. This one it says it's made in Japan. Let's have a look at it. This one's similar to the D, but black and um, ribbed, and um, yeah, it's got this texture all over it with a silver sticker. I was also um, able to um, erase the writing in pencil on it. Um, let's have a look at the tape color on this one. Really dark brown tape.
and that would be its proper color there this um, bluish blackish dark color we've got a twin arm pressure pad on there spring let's quickly look at the j card and there is some writing on it unfortunately and here's the frequency graph without any reflections of the cassette box itself and the right side up would help I don't know. that was the right side up And the next cassette is really interesting. It's a TDK SD. I think this particular one is from 1970. And this was supposed to be... Unfortunately, there's no label on the, or the right box with it. But um, nevertheless, just to have that cassette is good by itself. It's a TDK SD from 1970, I think this one example is. Um, I think they came out in 1968. And this was a 1970 version. And these were supposed to be the first hi-fi capable cassettes um, by TDK. Really dark brown. And this is about its true colour there. And um, going by the 45 Spaces site, these were able to record a frequency of in between um, 30 and 20,000 kilohertz. So this in itself would be a really rare cassette and I've tried recording on it and it does sound really good. Um, yeah, it is a good sounding cassette and if you had the equipment to record on it back then I guess it would sound good back then as well. Now this video, um, I mean this cassette here, there was a dedicated video um, made for this cassette already, but let's compare it to this TDK SA that I've got. It's, slight, it's got slightly different graphics on it. This one's like new, and this one's used, but as you can see, there's different graphics on the sticker itself it's just got a paper label on there um, I think the top ones from 1975 could be mistaken and the bottom one I'm not sure um, you're welcome to make a comment if you um, know these cassettes uh, better and just a quick look at the JCAD on the um, SA A lot of writing and there's a lot of writing there and graphs and all sorts um let me get it upside down again but yeah a lot of explanations and graphs and um you want to take a stew of that and read it later And that was the vintage TDK cassettes. Thanks for watching and see you in next or the previous video.
and I'm guessing if you stayed that long through the video you want to see what the tape looks like on the SA mid 70s SA and this is it that being its proper color there that's the two mid 70s SA tapes see you in the next or the previous video